Police patrols have been stepped up in Clapham, where Sarah Everard disappeared. And so have conversations about women's safety in public spaces. I think it will change my behaviour. It'll make me much more aware of my surroundings and make sure that I, you know, tell someone when I'm walking from the tube to home. While some women will do things differently now, others have felt fear for years. I felt unsafe in this area for a long time. Angela tells me her daughter was attacked on her doorstep and she's been followed late at night. What I do is I walk in the middle of the road and I did tell my daughters to do this. That is a safe place. Many of my friends have had their drinks spiked like before I had my daughter and things have happened to them. Stacy won't go out alone after dark. It's not fair at all. I just think just because you're a woman, it's different. And it shouldn't be like this, especially in this day and age. Sarah's story has prompted an outpouring on social media of women sharing experiences of harassment and assault. It comes as research carried out by UN Women UK found 80% of women said they'd been sexually harassed in public. Only 4% of them said they'd reported the incident. And perhaps the reason why? 45% said they didn't think it would change anything. In London, the mayor told me change is a priority. How safe are women in public spaces in London? Because we're hearing from a lot of women who are saying they don't feel safe walking on the streets. Well, firstly, it's important for people like me not to, uh, you know, disagree with the experience women have. That is the experience women and girls have. Uh, what we've got to do is to uh, make sure that when it comes to decision making, there are more women around the table to make sure we're taking steps to address some of the concerns that have been raised by women. And campaigners say there's too much attention on how women should avoid harm rather than men's behaviour. We shouldn't be focusing on what women should and shouldn't do. All this does is take attention away from those that choose. Remember, it's a choice. They choose to perpetrate that violence. In the Commons today, Labour's Jess Phillips read out the names of every woman killed by a man in the last year. Linda Max, Carol Smith, Sophie Moss. It took her four minutes. She mentioned Sarah Everard at the end. A socially distanced vigil will be held in Clapham on Saturday for Sarah and everything her disappearance has awakened. Tessa Chapman, Five News.